Hey kids and welcome to Children's Church at Home. Did you have a fantastic week? I sure did. And today's going to be another fantabulous day. We're going to learn more about God and what he tells us in his word. We've been studying Bible places. Some of these places in the Bible that have cool significance and we learn a lot more about them. So far we've learned about the Garden of Eden, Calvary, and last week we learned about Egypt. This week we're going to learn about a very, very tall place. Have you ever been to a mountain before? Where I grew up back in Washington State, we had mountains everywhere. And I'm talking 14,000 feet tall mountains. They were higher than the clouds. We would be driving on the road and you'd see mountains on the left and mountains on the right. And there was this one mountain called Mount Rainier that was so big and so beautiful. Did you know that there were some mountains mentioned in the Bible too? One particular mountain we're gonna learn about this week is called Mount Sinai. Can you say that? Mount Sinai. After the Israelites left Egypt and they were freed from their slavery and Moses was leading them around, they were traveling through the wilderness trying to eventually reach the promised land. And they came to this place called the Sinai Peninsula. And there was a mountain there called Mount Sinai. God led them there so that Moses could go up to the mountain to talk with God. Now this mountain was pretty cool and there was some interesting things that were happening to it that wouldn't naturally happen to a mountain. A cloud came down and covered it and there was smoke rising from it and there were flames almost like it was a volcano but that mountain is not a volcano at all. There was lightning in all the clouds and almost like the sound of trumpets as well. Why do you think all of those things were happening on the top of Mount Sinai? God had come to talk to his people and God spoke to them directly from the cloud. And you can imagine when God speaks, his voice just being booming and loud and God gave them specific laws he wanted them to follow. We call them the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and mother that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, workers, or animals, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. And God spoke those laws to the people all gathered around Mount Sinai. And then Moses went up into the cloud in the mountain to be with God. And he stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights. And this would have been a, I thought it'd be a scary experience after you see the display of power that God is showing on top of the mountain. And yet Moses had to go up and talk with God. And he waited those 40 days with God and God sent him back with two tablets of stone on which God had written those 10 commandments. I guess Moses was the first one to download things from the cloud to his tablet, right? God wrote on those tablets of stone, and Moses went back down after those 40 days, but he didn't like what he came back to. You see, the Israelites thought that Moses had died. The guy who brought them up out of Egypt with God's help and God's power was not coming back. He went up to this mountain and there's all these crazy things happening. For six days, the clouds stayed covering it. And they, they turned away from the true God. They said to Aaron, Moses' his brother, Aaron, make us a God who will go before us that we can worship, a God who brought us out of Egypt. So Aaron said, take off all your gold earrings and your gold jewelry. And they melted them down and they fashioned an idol in the form of a calf, a baby cow. And then Aaron said to the people, here now is the God who brought you up out of Egypt. And they held a party and a feast and they worshiped that golden statue. 
because they thought that Moses had left them. And they had just been through the Red Sea. They walked through on dry ground because God had parted the waters for them to safely pass through. Yet they forgot about God. And this is right at Mount Sinai. They had seen the signs and the wonders, the fire and the smoke and the lightning and the cloud. But they turned away. So Moses went down and he was so upset, he actually threw the tablets to the ground and they broke. And after they fixed their situation, they had to repent. They had to say they were sorry for their sins and they had to turn away from it. Moses went back up on Mount Sinai one more time for 40 more days. And then God gave him more instructions and God had Moses write down again those 10 commandments on those two tablets of stone so that the Israelites would always remember this is the way God wants us to live our lives. There are some things we can't do, but that's okay because God wants us to live our lives so people know that we're Christians. He wants us to be kind to one another and be loving. He wants us to make sure we stay away from sin and we go to church on weekends and we don't worship anything other than God himself, right? We put God first in our lives. We love our family and we honor our parents. We're not going to take things that don't belong to us. We're not going to talk badly about other people. And we're not going to really want something that someone else has to the point where we're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. Because we put God first in our lives. And that's what God was trying to teach his people at Mount Sinai. If you put God first, then you will be able to follow all of the things he wants us to do. So Mount Sinai, mountains in general are pretty cool. I love seeing how awesome they are and how they really display God's power and majesty. But at Mount Sinai specifically, we learn to put God first above everything else. God is always first in our life. Let's say a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, just like you taught the Israelites at Mount Sinai, Help us to always put you first. Amen. All right, we've got another children's worship bulletin this week. This is a pretty cool one because there's another secret code you got to find out by downloading the packet. This one's all about how the Lord called Moses to the top of Mount Sinai to receive the tablets of stone, which were the Ten Commandments. And there's cool games and activities on every single page here. Make sure to check it out. And check out that secret code for some additional games you can play on your tablet or computer at home. Are you ready for this week's song? Me too. We are going to sing, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. You ready? You want to stand up and get the wiggles out? Yeah. Here we go. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Let's do love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Peace that passes understanding I've got the peace that passes understanding Down in my heart, where? Down in my heart, where? Down in my heart I've got the peace that passes understanding Down in my heart, where? Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy 
I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Alright, you ready for that crazy long one? Wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Let's see if you can do it. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Great job. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Would you fold your hands? We pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me this week. I'm looking forward to seeing your awesome creations, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great week.